good day. Welcome to King Wills Everything. We have the TP-Link AC2600 Archer C2600 router. Fantastic router. Really like this guy. I got this for six bucks at Goodwill. Uh, it's actually probably about three years old. So for six bucks, I'm not complaining. Even now, this is probably a fairly fairly pricey router. Uh, it's got some really cool features. Uh, it's AC2600, four stream, uh, 11AC. Uh, Multi-user MIMO, dual core 1.4 gigahertz CPU, dual USB 3.0 ports, uh, four antennas, beamform technology. So it's got some pretty neat features and a nice little gigabit uh, Ethernet on it, four port uh, switch on it. So pretty cool. And compared to uh, some of the other routers, this is their best one, uh, at least at the time. So pretty cool. So today we're going to show you how to upgrade the firmware. I did look at this guy. Let me get it over there. This fellow here. And it has firmware 1.0. And just kind of by poking around through its interface, uh, it's 192.168.0.1 uh, by default, and it's version 1.0, and doesn't appear to have any kind of automatically download, upload uh, feature to up tell you that it needs a, a firmware upgrade, and I think the firmware was 1.018 or 1.18. I'll show you here in a second when we download it. And I'm going to show you how to upload the firmware and upgrade this fellow to the latest firmware because you want all the neat security features, all the little fixes and stuff like that because it always makes these things a little bit better, especially if it's only version 1.0. There's probably some neat features that are uh, have been added to it. So let's go over here that way and I'll show you how to update the firmware. Okay, so we have Firefox here. You can use any browser you want, but you want to go to its default IP address, 192.168.0.1, 192.168.0.1. And you'll see it ask you to log in. I already configured this one time, so it's got my, my configuration on here. I just set it up to do some testing. And just kind of, I thought it'd be worthwhile at least to show you some of the uh, the neat little features on here before we do the upgrade. So there we go. We're logged in. So there's the basic screen. Uh, let's go look at some of the neat settings. Uh, turn this on. You can see the wireless setting here. Let's turn on advanced. And we'll go into network. You can see the LAN, you can configure your LAN. A DCP server, dynamic DNS if you want to use that. There's some advanced routing below that if you want to. Um, the wireless. And you kind of see I have uh, the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz configured. I created just a, a home SSID and a simple password just for testing. And there's a little walkthrough when you first turn this on to configure it. We'll show you that at the end. Uh, USB settings, so you want to set up your devices. Once you get something connected, I don't have anything connected right now. There's a shared account. And you got parental controls. If you want to use some of that, block some of your children from getting to certain things, you can do that. And we got some security. You can see the firewall. This is kind of cool. The denial of service protection, you can turn that on. I'm going to turn it on. Let's turn it on. Yeah, it's ICPM flooding, UDP flooding, TCP flooding. I'll turn that all on low. Why not? And we'll make that one low also. And save it. And she saved. There's more of the QoS. You want to upload bandwidth limits, you can do that. It also has a little database. If you want to get on the internet or create a database, you can upload that for your quality service settings. Configuring quality service is kind of difficult. That's probably why I did that. Uh, let's see. We have IPv6. You want to use that. Do Mac cloning. And system tools is where the firmware update's at. Uh, you can see here's the uh, the time settings. NTPs are already pre-configured for you. Just got to put in your time zone. And if we go down to firmware, let's see where's firmware. Oh, there's oh, it's traffic statistics also. You can see I don't have anything right now. It's not plugged on the internet. And firmware upgrade. And here's where you kind of go to get your firmware. And you can see we're at version 1.0. So go to your TP-Link website and download it for whatever version you're uh, whatever. Uh, router you have and we're going to click on browse because we want to browse to where you want to get your firmware wherever you saved it to and I saved it and we're going to load 1.1.8 that's the current version click on the upgrade button say yes and then of course it goes through it's flashing it and then it'll do a reboot I, fed, I sped this up it took maybe about you know four or five minutes so it took a little while so you got to be patient when you do this 
but I care about your time, so I sped it up. And it's done. And one of the things you're going to notice um, that your your router settings are all gone. Once it, you do the firmware update, it's all wiped out, so you're starting fresh. So use admin admin to get in. You have to create a new username and password. And this is like, like a fresh install, a fresh turn on. And now you set your time zone. And say next. And your internet type, we'll just say dynamic IP for now. And you can see you can set your SSIDs and your passwords. Those are just the default TP Link ones. And that's basically it. Now you review your settings and you say save it. And let's see, it should start saving. And there it goes. It's so pretty simple. That's like I said, that's basically how you are. configure it straight out of the box. Uh, it's kind of odd that it does wipe out all your settings. It would be nice if you kept that, but yeah, so be it. And we'll say finish. And yeah, let's see, go into advanced. And yeah, let's go down to system tools and firmware upgrade. And you can see the version is 1.1.8, so it's been upgraded to the latest and greatest as of this time. There you go. That's how you upgrade the firmware on the Archer C2600 TP-Link router. Pretty simple. Like I said, this one came out of the box with firmware 1.0, so maybe, you know, who knows what version you got when you opened it up. But definitely you want to make sure you got an updated version for this, especially since uh, there doesn't seem to be any kind of easy way just to have it uh, say, hey, there's an update available. You have to go to the website, check it, download it, upgrade it. So anyway, that's how you do it. So I hope you guys found this useful. That's you guys, and have a great day.